Let's speak to Ashley Pearson Khan from Toronto in Canada. She is World Hijab Day spokesperson. Ashley, thanks very much indeed for joining us again. Nice to talk to you. Um, you'll have been watching this situation very closely, no doubt. I mean, we heard in the package there that, that the court decision could take weeks. So are you worried that the longer this goes on, the more concerning the situation will get for those students? Thank you for having me again. I have been concerned since the very beginning that the longer this goes on, the more violent it could become. I know that there are women currently facing issues. Of course, we've seen it in videos where they're being verbally harassed. And I just, I really hope it doesn't turn physical. Um, I just hope that they can be safe. That's one of my biggest concerns. And I really hope that they'll come to a decision and the right decision to allow these women to wear their hijabs because it hasn't been an issue before. Yeah, we've been hearing in India, in Karnataka, about a situation where Muslim students have seen some of their classmates, Hindu classmates, demonstrating against them. Uh, is paradoxically in this situation, is education the only way forward? That's what we talk about a lot um, at World Hijab Day, for example. You know, educating people um, about hijab, for example. You know, education is a basic human right, and they're trying to take it from this these women. And now we have people coming into their classrooms and taunting them and verbally abusing them over their garments, which they've been wearing. I don't understand why these students haven't had issues before. Why is it an issue now for them? So I think we need to educate people on why we're wearing our hijabs and um, help them understand that we're not a threat. And, and the Indian government, I mean, it seems mired in the courts at the moment, so we're not quite sure which way it's going to go. But, but so far, do you feel that this, the, the Indian government policy is perhaps working against minorities and that perhaps part of a wider problem in, in society, and not just in India, but of polarization between groups. It seems that we're more divided than ever these days. It does seem that way. Um, you know, they at first said the ban was brought on by claims of wanting uniformity. Um, the hijab wasn't part of their uniform, and that's what they wanted, but it hasn't been an issue in the past, like I mentioned before. And so now these, these women are speaking up, and it's mostly an attack on Muslim women. And honestly, it doesn't say, while Muslims may be a minority in India, there's still millions of them in India, and this is nothing new. They've been there all along, and they're not causing any issues. So, um, you know, at World Hijab Day, we are striving to educate people so we can all live in harmony, basically. We just want peace to be able to live together. It's not like we want everyone to be part of one religion. You know, we accept that there are other religions out there, and we just want to live alongside them in peace. OK, great to get your thoughts. As always, that was Ashley Pearson-Khan there at World Hijab Day spokesperson from Toronto.